Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about Nia now and her potential future, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys know, Supergirl is currently on a break. They aired the first seven episodes because Superman Lois was behind on filming, so that's why we've seen seven episodes of Supergirl's final season already, but I'm sure you guys know that. And so, it's on a break, it's gonna come back in August, that is super exciting. However, the inevitable is coming and Supergirl is going to be ending sometime later this year, around November time, with its season finale, or its series finale. And so with that, people have been questioning what is going to happen to all of these characters. So obviously Supergirl isn't going to be around much because Melissa is leaving, and that was like one of the main reasons why the show is ending, because she chose to end it. So that means that Melissa isn't going to be around Vancouver much, so you're not going to be seeing much of her. However, that's not to say you're not going to be seeing any of the other characters, and so who are some of these characters that could show up again? Well. Obviously there is a lot of people in Team Supergirl, you got Lena, you got Alex, you've got Kelly, Jean, Brainy, and everyone else that surrounds them in the show. You know, not even necessarily just strictly Team Supergirl members, but just people who are in the actual show could show up sometime in the near future, but that is all to be decided later. However, the thing I'm going to be talking about in this video is to do with who's going to be showing up, is there a potential for like a potential spin-off in the future or are they going to be showing up on like other TV shows and this ties into currently at the moment they just released a new comic and that being DC Pride and so you guys should totally read it, it's really good it's an anthology series just like a bunch of different stories from LGBTQ plus creators and it's super interesting and this is in fact Nia Now's first introduction into the comics so Nicole Maines, who plays Nia on the show, she has written this comic and it's premiered just literally today. And so I wanted to make a video about it, but also link it into her potential future. Because in this comic, Brainy actually shows up, Nia is there. Supergirl briefly appears, obviously in the form of Melissa Benoist. However, it's kind of a different version of Dreamer, although it's still set in that same Arrowverse world. Although in the comics, Dreamer is at a stage where she isn't necessarily a member of Team Supergirl, but she is advanced beyond that. She is a hero onto herself, and she isn't a sort of sidekick character to anyone, and she is a protector of National City in her own right. And so, what's to say this couldn't happen in the TV show beyond Supergirl actually finishing? And I think it's very likely, and I've been saying this for a while, if there's any character out of all the characters on Supergirl that is going to continue on and have more stuff in the future, I 100% believe it's Nia now. Whether she shows up on Legends or another show, I believe she's going to be coming back in some form. And so obviously she's come out in this comic and this is a new medium, meaning that she's already span off from Supergirl, which is super exciting. However, post Supergirl's ending, I think there is a possibility for a Nia Now Dreamer spin-off show. And so how could this happen? Well, I think you would include Brainy in the show, so you would have Jesse Raff returning, and it would be a strict Supergirl spin-off, so it would be like directly coming out of the show. You would have some of those characters that you've seen on Supergirl, but it would continue just with a different lead. It wouldn't be about Supergirl. It would be obviously continuing Supergirl's legacy, but in a different direction, and that direction is of course Nia, kind of like what happens in the comic, right? So her becoming her own hero, protecting National City or wherever she moves to go to, I think there is a chance that the CW might go for it, and also because Nia is super important, she's the first trans superhero on TV, and I don't think the Arrowverse is just ready to throw her away just quite yet, and I think, you know, with the announcement that Supergirl is ending, I think the biggest disappointment is that Nia is not going to be around because we've just started to get to know her. And so another potential spin-off that could happen, and I've mentioned this a couple of times before, I think a Legion of Superheroes spin-off show is very, very likely. Obviously it doesn't have to include Supergirl or mon or any of the more popular characters. However, this could also be a way for Nia to show up again, but not having her own show, but being part of like this bigger ensemble of the Legion. 
and this way Brainy can also show up too. You would be able to introduce new superheroes in the future that we've never met before and it would also be continuing Supergirl's legacy although in the future and with some different characters so I think that is a potential opportunity that they could go down. Don't know if it's actually going to happen. Again, this is all me theorizing and thinking about like what would be cool. And obviously another option is Nia joins another show that is currently running right now. So what show would that be? Well, most people are pointing to Legends of Tomorrow because Legends often picks up with characters who have left other shows. And therefore, naturally, with Supergo ending, Nia could show up on Legends. Just like, say, Constantine, the show ended, he showed up on Arrow, and then he came onto Legends and is now a core member of the team. This could totally happen with Nia. However, I'm going to say, even though Nia's goofy and she's funny and everything, and, you know, Legends is very goofy, I think Legends goes, like, the step further. And although I think she can definitely fit onto the show, I think she is actually kind of better than that. Like, I would prefer, personally, if she had her own show or, like, someone else's show. Like, I don't think she's going to show up in, like, Batwoman, Superman, Lois or anything. Because I don't think she's going to necessarily match those tones. Maybe Batwoman would be, like, the closest guest. But I don't think they're sort of looking for people with superpowers on the TV show. However, they could do a John Diggle and bring her back in a sort of crossover capacity. It must be mentioned that at the start of The Flash Season 8, they are doing a five-part crossover where they're going to have five consecutive episodes that are going to feature characters from other Arrowverse shows. So here could be a way for her to show up on another show in a proper crossover, maybe like by herself with maybe Brainy rather than Supergirl because at that point Supergirl would have finished filming and it's very unlikely that Melissa is going to show up in that crossover and yes I know that Supergirl is ending in November and this crossover episode will be filmed around September it must be noted that Supergirl finishes and wraps filming in August so it would be before and it's very unlikely that Melissa is going to show up and probably like spare a couple of weeks to show up so I don't know if that's going to happen, however I think it's more likely that maybe Neo could show up in some of these crossover episodes and even though it would probably be airing around like a similar time, this could be a way for Neo to show up separately if Nicole Maines wants to actually do this. But yeah, what do you guys think about that? I'm super excited. Please go check out DC Pride, it's really good. Check out the Dreamer story and also reading it I was like, Wow, this is literally like Supergirl, the TV show in the comics. And with Nicole Maines as a writer, I feel like she really knows the character and I would be super interested to see her like making her own show, writing some episodes and properly doing it like she's done with this comic. Obviously, it would be too much to like show run the show and also be the main star. That would be way too much. So if she does a similar thing to Azzy, writing an episode and maybe writing more than one episode like every now and again she comes in and she sort of has this big say in her new dreamer show i would love that and i think she's really captured it in the comics so i can't recommend it highly enough it's really really freaking good and it's super exciting to see like melissa show up in the comics obviously and jesse raff's brainy showing up and also it must be mentioned that in the comic brainy shows up in his green attire which I thought was an interesting choice. But yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.